Are your parents paying for their children to join a social elite? No, I don't think so. I, th I, I think what they're looking for is that they're looking for their boys to have, uh, for, to have access to great things later on, to be able to enjoy their prep school life. Uh, but they are very proud of this school. Um, I suspect equally when they're walking alongside their son wearing the iconic striped blazer that um, there's a certain air of satisfaction about that. What was the last change you made as a result of the pupil voice? We've got a very strong school council and uh, they've come up with uh, a, a very broad range of ideas over the, the last several years. I'd, I'd suggest the quiet space, which was uh, suggested and has now been implemented for the boys. It was actually recognised by John Burko, the Speaker of the House of Commons, as an excellent initiative of pupil voice. Other things, the school bag has changed because of the boys and we have many, many different uh, suggestions and uh, recommendations for food quite a few of which we've adopted. If you could change one thing about your school, what would it be? I'd very much like to reduce or even remove the assessments that we have for entry to the school. Um, the thing is the, uh, the demand for places, the, uh, the pace of the curriculum here is such that it's important for us to make certain that the, the, the boys are going to be able to flourish here and uh, these days that is a necessity. How do you guarantee your pupils' well-being? I don't think we can guarantee uh, well-being. Uh, what we can do is to make certain that we have an environment and that we have access points that are easily accessible, an environment that is very positive and, uh, and engaging. Um, lots of safeguards are put in place uh, across a variety of ways, but really it's, it's making certain that the boys know that they can talk to each other, that they can talk to us, uh, and that there will always be a, a, an, an engaging response uh, that's pretty fundamental. Uh, and similarly, keeping an eye on the, the, the wider environment to make certain we're okay. How do you define bullying and how do you deal with it? Well, for me, bullying is uh, an act or lack of act or words, uh, or even lack of words, uh, from one to another, which is liable to cause distress or discomfort. Um, I think one, one, of the, uh, one of the areas in which I'm most proud of this school is that the boys tend to be alert to uh, unkindness amongst each other and they don't particularly tolerate that. Uh, the staff are very quick to engage and, uh, and tend to be very positive about it but it is a priority here. Uh, obviously we want the boys to be happy and it's interesting the school council have actually listed as their number one uh, requirement of the boys that they should be kind. How do you react to wealthy parents offering donations to the development fund before their children have enrolled in the school? Normally by providing the sort code and the count number. <laughs> and in all seriousness, uh, the, the most important thing is, is the partnership between school and parent. Uh, it, we, we, we're both aligned in, in uh, knowing that the boy is going to flourish. And uh, if that's the case, uh, then, then we crack on. And uh, if it happens that the parents wish to enhance the environment in which the, their son's going to find himself, then I'm not going to stop them.